Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, we'll discuss an important use case on Canvas app that how to create a reusable component, Canvas app component, and use a custom property of type event. Okay, so let us create a new Canvas app so that we can learn that. So click on blank app and choose a Canvas app. Give a name, for example, Canvas component. and uh, event property okay just a sample name and click on create so the component in canvas app supports many types of custom properties right one is data property event property action property so we will see a use case where we can declare a custom property of type event in component that can be raised from the component and handled in the parent page okay so let's say so this is my screen where i will go to component screen here i will create a new component okay and in this component i want to create a component for example let's say i want to define a size width for example 400 and height for example uh, width let's keep 600 and height 400 okay and i want to change the background color let's say purple okay and uh, i just want to design some uh, you know uh, a alert kind of thing a confirmation box kind of thing so i'll add some text level here okay and i want to make it uh, 20 and change the color to white color and update edge message okay and i want to design one more level here to display some message okay let's say the message will be you are trying to process a background request request are you okay to proceed okay it's kind of uh, it's kind of a, a confirmation text that will be asked to the user so let me change to 15 for example okay and i want to use an icon kind of message for example info and i want to use it here and i want to use the color edge white color here okay so this is the message and this is the message that it will display okay and here i want to take two buttons okay one button is for confirm and another is for so let me use confirm and the other one is called as cancel so let me change the background color to something like this color no this is not that much uh, let me use this color okay and let me use one more button here and I'll call it as cancel okay now my intention is whenever I will use this component inside a screen this is the component I have designed so let me rename this to something let's say confirm box okay and my intention is whenever this confirmation box will be used in the screen let me design the screen once okay so let me take a button here okay let me insert a button here just a use case okay it's not that we are going through a uh, requirement so let me give a name here open dialog and i will take h20 for example the size of the button so when I click this button, I want this 
dialog box will open so i will add that add that custom uh, component inside this so i can have in the custom section and this is the confirm box that is created so this is the component i have created so my intention is initially it will be false okay so make it false visible false okay but i want to manage its visibility property depending on the button click if the button is clicked the uh, pop-up will appear right so what i will do i will on the button click what i will do on the select i will set a variable let's say so so box equal to true okay i'm initializing a variable on select button it's so box true and on the screen visible property on visible i want to set it as false because when the screen will be loaded first the so the confirmation box will be hidden and when the button is clicked the confirmation box will be displayed so i'll go to the confirmation box component in the screen and in the visible property assign this so box now what will happen if you click that this will be visible but my intention is whenever someone click cancel i want to hide it how can i hide this component because this component this button is available in this component but the component is now used as a component inside the screen so i want when this button is clicked i want to set a variable so box to false so that the component visible property will be dynamically using the so box and when you make it false this will be hidden so interacting with so the so box is a variable available in our main screen but this is a component now when this type of scenario is uh, available that you want to interact with something in the main screen or parent screen from the uh, component then you need to go to component and enable a or create a new custom property of type event you can use one of the type custom property data function event and action data means you can send data from parent to uh, component and component to parent using input output proper definition but if you can use function or you can use event then you can pass an event from your component to component and it can be handled in parent so let us create a event my event i want to create is on cancel click what you want to do when the cancel is clicked this event will be passed as a this event will be triggered from this component now define this event will trigger to set visibility of screen variable so box okay just common de description you can give and this proper type is event okay there is no return type for this and click on create if you want to add any parameter to your event you can pass parameters otherwise it is not required click on create so i have created a custom property of type event and you see here you will see the event is available on cancel click okay by default it is nothing but when it is clicked now when someone click this cancel button i want to call the event so call the event or trigger the event how to uh, trigger the event that is generated here or declared here as a custom property if you go here you can write down use the name show box sorry use the name confirm box dot on cancel click now when you call this 
event on this button click this event can be handled in screen level so what i will do i have declared a custom property of type event called that custom property on the button click then i will go to the screen and in this confirm box i will have this event and here i will initialize the show box as false right now here we are handling this event this is triggered by your component but handled in the screen level now let us test if it is working fine so click on run open dialog it is visible if you click cancel it is hidden right now it is working as expected right now this is the way that we can use custom property of type event in components you have already seen how data is passed passing data is very easy using custom properties for example i want to pass some data here okay now what i will do i will create another property here and use let's say raw message okay and define here this is raw message passed from screen to component now this property will be data this time i want to pass some data from screen to component so it will be input type if you want to pass some data from screen to component it is input when you want to pass data from component to screen it will be output so input of type which type of data text data type you want to add create okay now here the text will be dynamically dynamically connected to your raw text confirm box to access property you have to use the uh, component name then the property name now whatever raw message that is passed from the screen it will be displayed here now i will go here in the screen and in the confirm box i will pass the raw message okay here i want to pass you are working with new topic are you sure to proceed now if you pass this information from screen to your component if you click this it will display here right so this is how you can pass data from screen to component using data parameter okay you can also make it dynamic okay depending on the button click you can make it dynamic for example let's say you want to set uh, a screen level variable let's say set i want to use dynamic message and initially it will be blank okay and this dynamic message i want to initialize when the button is clicked I want to set the dynamic message edge edge open dialog clicked so when this button will be open dialog button will be clicked this will um, this will display message in the dynamic message variable as open dialog clicked I will take another button and open dialog 2 when this message is clicked it will display open dialog 2 is clicked now if you click this open dialog now in this raw message in the components raw message you want to pass dynamic text then what will happen if you click this it will display the message click this it will display the dynamic message right depending on the parent controls your component will behave this is how you can pass data 
and also handle event using component properties custom properties of type event and one is data you can also create another two types of custom properties one is function another is action Thank you.